stir fry. Let's get healthy. Let's get physical. <laughs> All right, first things first is we're gonna use some tofu today. Get hard tofu, not a silken tofu. Uh, I think this is also called cotton tofu. It's like a, sort of a spongy um, texture and it, the silken tofu is gonna F you up if you try to fry that shit in your skillet. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is cut it to open it. Uh, uh, like I'm hacking at it with a ninja sword over here okay um okay now you have this block of tofu i'm gonna cut it into four slices and one four slices ta-da all right now i have our little slices i'm gonna lay them out on a clean towel and i'm gonna press them this thing for just a few minutes. I'm gonna let that sit on there for a little while. And you're trying to get the water out so that uh, A, when you fry it, it doesn't splatter and like burn in your eyeballs. And then also it'll absorb a little less oil. Um, and that's healthy. And that's the theme of today's show, guys. Health. That's been sitting for a couple minutes. Squeeze some of the water out. Looks a little drier. I'm gonna preheat my skillet because that's really important. If you watch my show, you know that I'll say that all the time. Pretty much every time I remember to say it. Preheat that skillet, bros and hoes. All right, I'm gonna let it heat up before I even put the oil in. Mm-hmm. It's hot. I'm gonna put in, I never measure this. I bet it's probably like two tablespoons of oil. There's one. There's two. Yeah, tell me two. Um, just enough to get a little coating and then so you can see my oil is already like starting to like boil and shimmer um, like a desert mirage so that's good I'm gonna let that get pretty pretty hot no joke I'm putting in my tofu it's gonna splatter a little bit um, so be careful here we go Wicked. All right, those are gonna fry for, I don't know, I think it usually takes like four or five minutes on each side. Okay, so these are gonna, um, oh my God, it's fully burning me. These are gonna cook for maybe like four or five minutes on each side, I think. I'll, I'll time it for you and then we'll find out. I'm gonna put a lid on it because this is like getting splattered with like boiling oil and stuff. It's driving me insane. Ow, 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 ow. God. Okay. All right. It's been like two minutes. I'm so bad with time. I apologize. Um, Jesus Lord. Okay. It's a little dangerous, but you know what? Buck it up. Tofu is good for your ovaries and stuff. Especially if you fry it in some oil. All right. Couple more minutes. Yes. It's starting to calm down now. The water's kind of come out and it's not like freaking out and like mixing water and oil. You know, like, wasn't that in Romeo and Juliet? I think they talked about, like, how the, the Montagues and the Capulets were, like, oil and water. I think that's where that comes from. Thanks, Shakespeare and Hyla Cooking. Put these on a plate. I'm going to turn off my skillet. Save natural gas. All right. So they're, like, all just a little toasty. A little toasty crispy. Um... And uh, I'll set those aside while I do the rest of my preparations. All right, so I got some vegetables cut up here. Uh, you can use really literally whatever the hell you want. It's awesome that way. Um, you just want to make sure that everything is cut up in pretty, um, pretty small pieces because you're cooking it really fast over really high heat. Um, 
So the more surface area, the better, the faster it's going to cook. Um, and you will want to put your harder things in first. Like I'll put my carrots and onions in before the broccoli. Um, so the broccoli doesn't get all overcooked because everything should still be a little crispy and delicious and awesome. Okay. I have the oil left over from my tofu and I'm reheating it and then I'm going to put in my vegetables. First go my carrots and then my onions. So I learned how to make this from my friend's mom in high school. We used to go over there to her parents' house because they had all this land around their house and we would do mushrooms and like hang out in the woods and stuff and go on walks and get hit by cars. And um, then we come back and her mom would be all like, do you guys want some stir fry? And we're all like, ooh, I don't know if I can look at that. But you know, it's like that's just a really vivid memory I have of like looking at this big bowl of stir fry and rice and like totally tripping on mushrooms and just like poking at broccoli. Um, anyway, uh, gonna move on then. I'm actually gonna make a little circle to put the broccoli in. Since I don't have a, a wok, um, this works fine but you just have to make sure that everything is able to touch the skillet at some point. Whoa, you didn't see that. <laughs> All right, and another thing about putting the vegetables in sort of a, um, what's the damn word, in layers or something, um, is that every time you add something to the skillet, it's gonna cool it down a little bit. If you put everything in at once, it's just gonna drop your temperature like dramatically really fast and then you don't get the stir fry effect you get like a steam effect which is not good okay let's let that on high do its thing for a few minutes while i cut up my garlic so i got two little garlic cloves uh, take that garlic i'm gonna smash them and then pull the peels out and then chop them up pretty tiny Rad. Done. Set it aside. Cut up some green onions to add just a little bit of spice at the end. I'm gonna check on my little stir fry guys. This is good, this is good, very good. My broccoli's getting bright green. So my little onions are all caramelized-y. This is gonna be a really good breakfast. If any of your little broccolis don't look like they're getting done, just shove them to the bottom. Get down there. All right, well, this is almost done. I'm gonna put my tofu back in. First, I'm gonna quarter each of these pieces over here on my chopping board. Bam. Let's throw those babes back in there like it weren't nothing. Oh snap, where's my soy sauce? Dang it! I'm gonna fucking kill somebody. Nobody freak out, found the soy sauce. All right, so I'm just gonna put maybe two tablespoons, actually, hold. I'm gonna throw in my garlic and onions on top of here. Distribute it as evenly as possible. Oh my God, I'm getting a text, hold on, I'm just kidding. <sighs> Shouldn't have said that, okay. Um. Probably more like a teaspoon, actually. Ooh, I want to put in some red pepper, too. It's gonna be spicy. Screw it. Okay, this is done. One last little stir around to get everybody mixed. Turn that off. It's stir fry time, baby. Sweet. Oh my god. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna make me feel like a hundred times better. Chock full of vitamins. All right, that's it. That's how to make super easy, super fast, super delicious stir fry. So go subscribe to my YouTube. There's a little button down there that says subscribe. And then go to my website, highlycooking.com. And there should be a place where you could sign up for like a secret newsletter and you can get, um, I don't know, like blooper reels or something, something awesome. We haven't decided yet, but somewhere over there, look over to that side of me and you can subscribe there. Okay, bye. <laughs>